from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News This Morning at 6. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We made it to the weekend, Suzanne. January 28th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 6 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Jamar Kamor. Oh, it feels good. We have a big game this mm-hmm. weekend. I'm so ready. Yeah. I'm Suzanne Marquez. There's a lot happening in your world today. Here's your SoCal Eye Opener. Oh, that's the sound of the aftermath of the Santa Anas. They're back this Friday. Powerful gusts have the chainsaws out early, tackling some major damage. It was horrible. I almost, you know, lost my life. Brutally attacked while waiting at a bus stop. Now one woman is sharing her story only here on News 2. And the SWAT team makes their move live on CBS 2 News this morning. See how this standoff played out at a local 7-Eleven. Matt Gabe boots it through. High hopes for another explosive win. How the Rams are gearing up to take down the 49ers. But first, I wasn't here earlier this week, so I I may have missed the shout-out. But I want to send a special shout-out to our photojournalist, Dave Gonzalez. 40 years. Oh, yes. 40 years with Dave. That's a big win right there. And and he's so kind. He's uh, always doing our live shots. He's actually bringing the live pictures Uh uh, there behind Alex. But uh, from breaking news to dancing in front of donuts, there you go. He's waving. Dave, Dave, we love you, and we appreciate you, and we want you to know that. So many great memories. Dave, remember him being at the fire where the power lines came down? He got the camera going we're like yeah. is Dave okay the camera's still up wow. Dave Thank has you. been through it all worth celebrating all right Alex take it away Dave congratulations on 40 years I know you can hear me was, so he's bringing us this live shot yeah this is from Porter Ranch this morning oh wow look at the winds whipping out there so yes our wind prone communities uh, definitely feeling the impact from these Santa Ana winds this morning so this is just off Town Center Drive in Porter Ranch so let's go from Porter Ranch to Camarillo this morning where we are seeing winds out of the northeast 29 miles an hour sustained, gusting up to 49 miles an hour. Wow. So we talked about this yesterday, and now we are seeing it in action. Winds uh, from the San Fernando Valley to the Santa Clarita Valley, all the way through the I-5 corridor into areas like Oxnard, Camarillo, sustained winds 20 to 30 miles per hour. Winds starting to expand out toward Ontario, the Inland Empire. We have advisories in place as far as impacts. So what could happen? Down tree limbs, power lines, it's all possible. Dangerous driving conditions because of strong crosswinds, especially through passes in canyons and for those high profile vehicles. And of course, the wind may blow around unsecured outdoor items. So best best to bring that uh, all inside. So we'll talk more about how long the winds expected to stay with us. We'll get to the details coming up. Back Alex, to you. thank you. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy. 